Hey guys, Christina Kesky here with Forever Board Soapery, and I had an afterthought. I'm sorry. I uh, <laughs> just got some things in um, for um, some classes that I'm going to be teaching, and yeah, just stuff. But one of the things that I've ordered recently, and I thought, oh, I should have done an unboxing, so I unboxed it <laughs> already. But here it is. I thought about stuffing it back in the box and pretending for you, but eh, let's just unwrap it together. So I purchased this super, hopefully awesome. It's called a two auto wax melter. And this one is the five liter capacity. I hemmed and hawed between this one and the 12 liter. But I decided I really don't think that I need the 12 liter anytime soon. Um, I'm just making a few candles here and there for funsies um, and selling them. I'm not all the way into it. It's not going to be a primary focus of my business or anything like that. So I felt like the five liter, it still gives you a fair amount. So I felt like I would be fine with that for fairly long period of time and it melts things down so quickly that you know even if I did a batch of you know a dozen or so of one scent I could still while I was mixing and pouring and doing all the things for that one be melting down more max, wax for the next scent so I felt like this would be sufficient um, for what I'm doing but it's pretty cool it's got the uh, the dial here with all the different temperatures. So looks like it goes up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Probably not where I'm gonna need to be. Um, most of the wax I think I'll be using will just be the 100% soy wax for right now. So it just needs a lower setting anyways. So that's good. Um, she's got her on and off switch for pouring, which is beautiful. And uh, I, I'll be honest, I don't know much about the spigots and whatnot, but I seen some reviews and people seem to be pretty happy with this one. They felt like it didn't need to be replaced. Um, apparently on some of the, the machines you have to replace it. And I'm not sure what the reasoning is there, but people seemed happy with this one. So that was good. Um, it's got its heating, insulation and standby modes. And then it's got its on off switch here. And then they, I guess it's called the two auto wax melting furnace and it's the model number is WMF five or dash five L so five liter. And yeah, it's pretty decent. So you can open the lid and take it off. And it's got all of my instructions inside here. And there's registration for a membership and some warranty. And the reason I went with this one as well over the 12 liter one that I was looking at, you can see the hole there is flush to the bottom. So as the wax is going through, it's going to go right through that hole and it'll drain down to nothing. So I was pretty excited about that just because if I wanted to do different waxes, so say I use soy wax all the time, but maybe one time I want to use a paraffin wax blend, I'll be able to completely drain the pot and then uh, bring in the next wax melt. So that sort of thing, because I'll only have this one pot. You know, some people have two or three of these guys for the different blends and whatnot, but I'll just have the one. So I really liked that. The other one, the 12 liter, didn't have that. It kind of had a the spout on the side here, that's where the hole was, was also on the side of the bin. Um, I'm not saying that that's a bad way. I just seen a lot of reviews saying they really liked this way. So I went with that. I thought that was a great idea to have. So that's good. And then it came with a whole bunch. I don't even know how many are in here. It was like two, four, six, eight, ten of the candle wick holders. Yay, I like these wick holders a lot. So super excited about that, um, as well as wick stickers. And I think there's a hundred wicks in here as well. Uh, 
I'm not sure what size they are. I'm going to have to do a little research on that because I definitely have two different width sizes for the vessels that I use now. I'll have to see if those will work for either one. But there's those. And yeah, so I was pretty, pretty excited about getting this guy in. Um, I have at the end of April a bunch of candles I'm going to be making and I'll definitely be using it for that. I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to use it before then. Um, but actually, I, I probably will try to. I'll probably try to use it before then just so that I know how it works before that event. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it. Pretty excited about testing it out. And just wanted to share it with you guys that I, I got my first wax melter. <laughs> and I'm pretty so, oh, and it came with a super long spoon too for stirring around on the inside and all that good stuff. And it's a good, like it's a good sturdy one, which is awesome. But yeah, awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you like my, my quickie video here on my wax melter. I will try and film a video for you guys when I do actually use it for the first time so you can check it out with me. Talk to you soon, bye.